different areas. I mean, there's a lot of piping. So if you're looking at plumbing um, companies being contracted with. So that's what we want to look at a little bit today. Um, some of the nuclear companies are already working in areas. From the environmental justice perspective, um, that'll be interesting. And um, Congressman Jane Clyburn is having a conference on nuclear power later in August. And some of these issues will also be discussed. I look forward to participating in that conference. But within that context, how can African Americans get into this business? Now, sometimes that distracts people, even our name distracts people. Sometimes the African American Environmental Association, when they ask, well, why do you need an African American thing? And they almost think it's kind of nationalistic or whatever. And I actually know, you know, there's a black community in virtually every city in the United States. And so there are unique opportunities. Uh, also, we, the African American community hasn't necessarily, as the entrepreneurs, have any opportunities to compete necessarily for contracts. I've been around and out in this area, and most or many of the successful black businessmen, regardless of the area, they end up in this AA program, it's a federal set-aside program. And those are the ones who seem to be mostly successful. But they can only be in the program about seven, eight years, and after that time, it's hard for them to stay in business. It's tough out in the private sector, it's very competitive out there. Nuclear is one of the more technical areas, and there's no margin for error in, in, in operating these power plants. But don't just think about the uh, containment vessel and the uh, reactor vessel. Also think about the transmission lines that come out of these plants. I mean, there are a lot of different areas that you can think about that people don't necessarily think about. We also want to look at the aspect of how um, the emission-free nature of nuclear power can be complemented by, quote, green jobs. And that would require smart grids. Smart grids, smart metering, uh, net metering. We're working on all these issues. And all of them have entrepreneurial activities. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, in many cases, minorities, African Americans, are left out of the feast or out of participation in the construction, left out of these business activities. This sort of thing is kind of happening with the bridge issue in the Prince George's County you know, National Harbor, some other issues. There are always complaints. And I've studied and looked at and bid on contracts. I've bid on recycling contracts in Prince George's County, the District of Columbia. And it's just tough out there. You have to subcontract sometime. And so we've been working in the nuclear since about 2000, for about eight years now. And so that's what got into my mind. Well, 